everybody, it's um, January 23rd, uh, it's uh, Tuesday night, and uh, <clears throat> I'm by myself. So I just thought I'd come out here and check out a couple things. Um, I went ahead and got one of these propane tanks, and where I have the stove mounted, let me get this thing out of the way, where I have the stove top mounted is in an area too far back, so the tank hits here. So the simple solution obviously is I need to pull the burner out towards me. And that's exactly why I just have this in here temporarily so I could experiment with stuff like that. So uh, as good of an idea as that is, that's not gonna work. And so another thing that I was thinking about doing, which I am gonna do, <clears throat> is um, I am going to put a 12 volt battery in here but to save space I'm going to go with a high output uh, or long life 12 volt gel motorcycle battery and then I'm going to hook that to a 12 volt 6 amp constant battery charger and that will be hooked to the 110 volt supply so while the Jenny's running or while it's plugged into the house that charger will be refilling that little battery. That little battery is not going to power things like heaters and TVs. That little battery is going to power the uh, tiny 12 volt exhaust fan. It's going to power a couple tiny little um, personal fans. And, um, and then I may hook up a, like a dome light out here um, with a switch on that panel. And then I've got a friend of mine gave me some strips of LED lights that I might put in here that are 12 volt. So I'm still going to keep the battery option, you know, uh, the battery powered lights as a viable option because um, I can just come in here and hit the switch and turn them on. So uh, it's Tuesday night, having a hard time getting away from my project. So I came out here just to check it out and we'll see. Okay, so another uh, cool thing is I ended up getting this 4x8 sheet of, this is, you know, looks like diamond plate, right? But it's actually, uh, it's vinyl diamond plate or, you know, flexible diamond plate. And I'm gonna use this towards the rear of the camper up above those walls where we talked about because it's very light and I don't want any more weight behind the axle. So um, I'm gonna trim this out up on top. <clears throat> we'll see how that looks. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, uh, the 27th of <clears throat> January, and um, we're coming down to the nitty-gritty of what's going on on the inside of the camper. And during the week, I was goofing around on the inside after work, and um, I'm glad I had left a couple <laughs> of the panels uh, off of the interior walls because I started to think about um, running an exhaust fan for that stove and how easy it would be, you know, if you go with the little PC fan option. Anyway, um, then my mind just went crazy and started thinking, well, I could put a battery and an inverter and all this, but I didn't want to spend, uh, you know, a good car battery and an inverter is about 150 to 200 bucks. Um, I may end up getting there, but I just, I, I try, I'm hoping that I optimize that in terms of space and cost. So I bought a 12 volt motorcycle gel battery, 25 bucks, okay? bought all the wire, I bought a main shut off, and I bought a 12 volt distribution panel. The cool thing about this, this was only 30 something dollars. It comes with your phone chargers, one, one amp and a 2.1 amp. Comes with your 12 volt little socket here. Thank you buddy. And then it comes with a voltage uh, meter always running. And then these are already labeled, which is um, kind of a bummer because I want to label them the way I want to label them so I'm going to probably mark these out with some kind of um, black pen and then I'll put my own little labels on them and then uh, they do light up when they're off and when they're on. It's a really cool deal. It's already pre-wired so you just run a common ground to your all your um, fixtures and then um, one positive. Um, this is why I'm glad I left some of the interior panels off so I could get this in there and then wire it and then I've got some LED outside lights I'm going to use. I was going to go with that one solar one and I still may use that for something I'm not sure but I do want to have a fixed um, lights. But these are super bright LEDs 
they use hardly any power um, I was checking out this fan here I could use for the um, the exhaust on the stove um, I have to build some kind of homemade duct so that's some gamer fan or something and then these I'm going to use for house lights um, inside that'll be hooked to all that'll be hooked to this thing and uh, that's what I'm going to try to tackle today <clears throat> the reason why I ended up doing the battery um, is because at night I do like to sleep with a little bit of air movement like a small fan and I used to have a um, a rechargeable camp fan that I used to take camping and you could and then it would run almost all night and kind of drizzle off in the morning um, but I found these little 12 volt fans that hardly use any power they have a really good rating <clears throat> So these will get mounted, you know, somewhere up out of the way, since we have limited space, of course. These will get mounted somewhere up out of the way, and they will direct uh, a little breeze for us sleeping. And I'm betting that this thing will run them. I think we figured out with what they draw and what this provides, it'll use a little over half of the battery in about eight hours, which um, is all I need. Um, and then we fire the Jenny up in the morning and do some things, and this will charge, and then we have fun during the day, come back in the evening, fire the Jenny up for night while we're watching TV and stuff, and this will charge up again, just like a regular RV. So, and I'm gonna go to work, trying to get this all figured out. Wish me luck. All right, so I have it hooked to the battery. It's showing 13.3, and then uh, this is cool. I didn't realize this thing is waterproof. This battery charger, that is cool. So I'm gonna plug in the battery charger in my organized pile of cords here and then it's going to jump to 14 7 right around there i get i don't know if that's normal or not i mean am i going to blow up all these little 12 volt deals i don't know i mean i'm happy it seems like it's working and uh you know I, hopefully it works guys <laughs> anyway is that normal <laughs> okay and just checking out this um this exterior led light here this sucker is bright Look at that. That That's awesome. So excited if I can figure out how to do all this. So we're going to get going, try to get this thing going. All right. So I really like these. These are really bright. These are okay. You know, they're more ambient than anything. And since I'm going to do the diamond plate here, I wanted to have that be kind of a little bit of a show. So I'm going to do it just like this on both sides back there and right here. And then um, I may hook these on an individual switch because these are really bright and these on an individual switch so you can go from really bright to like a mood lighting. That's where I'm at, working my way through. Obviously, it's a lot better if you do this stuff before. Like I said, I don't like going backwards, but um, I guess since I figured out how all the 12 volt electrical stuff works, I'm just going to make this work. All right, keep on going. So I was going here with that panel, but... I decided to do something else, so I'll have to fix that later. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right here. It's gonna go in there nice. It'll go in there really nice. I'm gonna stain the wood to match the other wood, and um, so it's gonna go there. And then I'm gonna use this stud here to mount the TV holder, and the TV will go right above it. And then I'm thinking like um, little shelf unit here of keys and stuff. And then I've got the lights all in up there. And then uh, we're going to start wiring it all back here, this direction. What do you think, buddy? Like it. So um, I'm just testing the stove here. And uh, That's a lot of fan. yeah, I'm just making sure I am going to definitely do an exhaust fan. Um, I have everything to do the exhaust fan. Um, But it's in there. And I'm gonna cut the sink next. Mm -hmm. So yeah, exhaust fan for sure. Well, and then kind of this is cold over here. Cold here. All this wood is cold. Even this metal's cold. It's been running for okay. It's gonna look. That's warm. Wood's cold. That's this is cold here. But up here. Yeah, it's warm here, so obviously, you know, heat rises, so I'm going to do an exhaust for sure. Hey, Dad, um... But I don't think, just a minute, son, I don't think... 
you know, it's for short-term use. We're not going to sit here and cook a bowl of spaghetti on it. I think it's going to be good. So we'll just keep testing. So Dad. All right, Saturday is coming gone. Uh, it's almost gone. And I needed more black and red wire to connect all that stuff. But I didn't want to burn daylight and run to the store. It takes about 45 minutes total to from the store plus shopping time. So I did whatever I could. I got this hole ready for the, uh, the panel. And then I uh, got this cut exactly where I want it. And that is the final resting place for the stove and the sink. They're not lined up, which really bothers me because I love stuff to make sense. But there's a reason they're not lined up. There's a framing underneath that I had to work around and I didn't want to compromise the structure. So that's where they're going to end up. But it gives me a little space over here. gives me more space over there. And we're just going to have to live with that. Uh, anyway, so we're done for today. And... Uh, We'll continue tomorrow. Well, good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning. Got up really early after showing you guys the sink and stove setup. I, I lost sleep over that. The sink being too close to the stove and just off centered, and it just messed with me. So, good thing I bought two of these. That's the one that's I ruined. So, that's 25 bucks down the drain, 21 whatever. It'll burn long. It's oak, so maybe we'll get some heat out of it. So what I did was I took the other one, and underneath here, I just ripped out all that framing that was there, preventing me from setting it up like this before. And this is the way it is now. I really, really like it. So you can see they're kind of even, close distance apart. This sink is as far forward as it'll go before it hits this underneath. So... And really all this is going to be for is a little hand washing maybe and if i can get our head in there i don't know maybe some teeth brushing uh just you know in the event of you know you wake up it's raining you can't get outside we have something to use and this yeah and that too for some bacon and eggs or whatever so i feel so much better about that way better so um so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to work my way forward with these lights all hooked up and uh, run the wire forward where it needs to go. Dirt bike neighborhood, dig it. And um, once I get all these where they need to be, then I'm going to come back this direction and work my way that way with the wiring and stuff to hook up the battery. And I'm trying to find a place where I could put the battery and the charger that are accessible but out of sight that looks sano so anyway back to work hi <laughs> um so we were working on the lights and the stove and the sink so you saw we got that done and look at all these you ready right. yeah that's which what lights do you want first let's do the little ones first. Here, go back here and try to get the whole thing. Let's get the whole thing. Okay. Is that you the... want the side lights or the sound, the round lights? The side lights. Okay, here come the side lights. Oh, now the round ones. Is that bright? And we're gonna put diamond plate right here, which will make it even more bright. So that's. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right. So, we'll see ya. Yeah, I press that. So what I'm working on right now is um, I'm building a battery box for the sucker. <clears throat> so it'll be it'll be in here snug and be an access door. And then this is the charging cable that's routed up to here. I want to be able to see this. Oops, I want to be able to see these here. So I'm going to actually, this will be this spot. And I'm just running a plug here. When I don't need it, I'm just going to unplug it. But when the Jenny's on, 
we want to charge the battery that'll be there and um, so I'm gonna leave this here I'll finish it out so I can see this I want to be able to see these displays so I know what's going on all the time and then um, I'm going to keep this factory plug on here I'm gonna cut up the 12 volt socket one uh, and then bear that wire to the um, to the battery with some eyelets but I'm also going to keep the receptacle that plugs in here and has two a positive negative clamp that are really nicely made so if one of my kids ATV batteries dies or something I could pop it off and just charge it right in here you know for four or five six whatever hours um, so it's still accessible I'll still be able to use the charger anyway I'm gonna get back to work gonna get this figured out here the work continues um, got the battery cabinet built this is a gel battery no fumes I am gonna vent it this direction anyway so that works together this side will be sealed um, but it's in there so I have the charger wired down to here and then I have the negative that's gonna go to the panel positive that's gonna go to the panel and then the positive from the charger and then the panel wires go back under and then up through here and they're all starting to collect right here all these wires here so that panel sitting over there upside down that'll be the last thing to hook up after I test everything I've tested all these lights but it's about two o'clock on Sunday and this is very time-consuming but it's coming together I still have to run power back this direction for the exhaust fan and then those two little fans right there I'm gonna mount up here facing back and um, there'll be the fans like at night if we want to have an ambient fan going all right here's a main <clears throat> there's gonna be a main kill switch to the panel because uh, there are some some lights that will be on all the time so you can see the panel and that'll be to completely disconnect any power to it when we're done camping and we put it away you would have two now. <clears throat> so it's the end of the day sunday we got to wrap this up but i was able to get everything wired back here and we have two of these switches are attached to fixtures that are installed so he's going to go ahead and hit the lights there was those and these ones. And there's those. And or both at one time. Look at that. You can turn it off by... That's a main shut off, yeah. And I would have a key too, just in case if... Okay. One... Can we turn it on first? That's it. So let's show everybody what's inside those, those, those things right there. So that is a 12 volt accessory, and then that is the phone, phone charging deal. Yeah. So I don't see any smoke. I don't smell anything. I, <laughs> I think I got it all done right. It's so. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, a big mountain climb to this weekend. Getting all the electrical uh, wired, and then um, next weekend we will be um, finishing the interior paneling, some insulation, getting everything buttoned up, and then um, I'll be able to uh, finish the front of this so I could put the fans there, and then I have the exhaust fan wired over there for the stove, and we'll, we'll get it all going. But the battery's working, charger's working, and this cool little deal's working. Yeah. One last shot of the lights.